guys, we are working on the 10th commandment in Art Pancakes today. Woo! We made it all the way through and I just feel like we need to celebrate here. Uh, if I had a party hat, that would work, but I found this, like, this little lay in my closet, so I'm going to put it on. Because <laughs> I just feel like we've got to celebrate. We made it through. So, today the 10th commandment is not to covet, which is basically not wanting what other people have. And last week we talked about, or last time, I'm sorry, last time we talked about um, not comparing ourselves to others because then we believe lies about ourselves, like that we're not special. That was last time on the Ninth Commandment. But this time I want to talk about comparing ourselves in another way because what it actually ends up doing is it makes us feel unhappy about, um, about ourselves. In, and so, you know, it's easy to compare. We can be like, oh, that person has like a million followers on Instagram and I have like two, you know, or, I mean, you could just compare, compare, compare. And really, it just makes you feel more unhappy and more unhappy. And the fact is, the Bible says that godliness with contentment is great gain. And that you know, that's something that we need to strive for, godliness and contentment. Contentment is not easy to strive for. It's very challenging. But the Bible says that God will give us the strength. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. And that we can be happy with what, he, what we have, what he's given us, if we rely on God's strength. So <clears throat> the question is, like, how do we do that? So my encouragement for you today is this. Keep praising the Lord, and when you feel unhappy, don't just keep wallowing in it, because it's not going to do you any good, complaining and feeling unhappy, and I wish I had this and that, because that's what we want to do. But what we really need to be doing is, okay, focusing on our blessings. Lord, thank you for, you know, thank you that I have two followers on Instagram. Thank you that you made me this way. Thank you for my house. Thank you for... Whatever it is, just keep praising Him, and He will help you get, it will help you get through. God will help you to be more thankful, because happiness really is a choice that we need to make. And we make that by choosing to be thankful. So, that is my encouragement for you today. Keep praising the Lord, and if you guys have any Bible questions or prayer requests, please email me. I will leave my email address below. Alright, let's get rolling, guys. Okay, we are going to need five colors today. We need yellow, teal, pink, purple, and I forgot to show you that we need white. <laughs> but we don't need very much white, so just a little bit. Um, we are making today rainbow fish, which um, the rainbow fish is to represent anything that you are jealous of. That beautiful rainbow fish. You know, the 10th commandment is not to covet, which means not to be jealous and want what other people have. So, you know, if you were a plain fish in an ocean and you were next to this beautiful rainbow fish, you know, you might struggle a little bit to be jealous of that. So, you know, my question for you guys is, have you ever felt like that? Have you ever, have you ever felt like that plain fish next to a rainbow fish? Because... I'll tell you, I felt that way many times and still do some, you know, it's, it's just something that it's easy to struggle with, you know. So, you know, that's my question. Have you guys ever felt like that, like that plain fish next to a rainbow fish? Um, but I'm going to tell you that, you know, and I know I've said this before, but God has made you special. You know, even if you struggle to believe it, it's still true. So, you know, remember when you see those rainbow fish, you know, those things that you're jealous of. Just keep praising God because, like I said earlier, happiness is a choice. Make it. And, you know, I say that to my kids all the time. Happiness is a choice. Make it. And um, they really love it <clears throat> when I say that, especially when they're um, not in a good mood. <laughs> and I tell them happiness is a choice. Make it. Um, they love it. They love when I say that. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, speaking of my kids, they are all home right now with me for summer. And I think that they're making a bunch of forts in the living room with pillows and blankets and all sorts of stuff like that. So, <laughs> it's a little crazy at my house today. But, um, anyway, back to these pancakes here. Uh, you'll see here that this is basically a pattern that I made on the fish, which was, you know, pink, purple, and yellow. And then, you know, whatever color I ended with, 
um, is what I started with, st started the next row with of, of, I don't know, I guess those are dots, colored dots, but um, it, it was a little bit confusing at first to make the rainbow pattern, but I think after you kind of rem remember that, you know, whatever you end with, whatever color you end with is what you start with on the next row. It'll help you. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs>